Events in Memphis and the beating death of Tyree Nichols after a traffic stop. Police forces nationwide are now under a microscope. One of the big topics among law enforcement organizations is the use of force, which can include officer-involved shootings, which the city of Dothan saw an instant of in February of last year where police were working a case of a stolen van on Montgomery Highway. Police say a driver of a truck started to roll towards officers, and after they warned him to stop, well, they shot three times into that vehicle, and the driver was later pronounced dead on the scene. Today, officers from around Alabama gathered at Harvest Church to talk about how officer-involved shootings impact the officer during a shooting and afterwards as well. Criminology professor Dr. David Klinger says the group he spoke to today had about nine or ten officers who had been involved in an officer-involved shooting, and other officers in the room had instances where they felt they had a lawful authority to shoot someone but did not take the shot. The notion that somehow police more recently are shooting more people, uh, we don't know that for sure. What we do know is over the last few years, there's been a little bit of a rise, but compared to the 1970s and whatnot, uh, all the evidence is that police are shooting fewer people. A sixth annual peer support conference was hosted by the Alabama Law Enforcement Alliance of Peer Support, who meet multiple times throughout the year, thanks to a bill signed in 2018 that allows first responders to provide other first responders with peer support following a trauma. Well, it's been